Hey, you guys, thanks for listening in to this episode of Tips with Tea. On today, it's just me. We are in a new year. So I just want to come and give a couple of tips on how we can develop an entrepreneur um, ship mindset. Um, so, you know, like I said, it's the beginning of the year. No other time to get started is now. Um, is the best time to get started for these, for your type of mindset that you need to have in order to be successful in your business. So today we're just going to talk about uh, three key ingredients and they have um, other points up under it, but um, learn the secret to cultivate an entrepreneur mindset. Start with, you know, three key ingredients, I would say. The first key ingredient is creating your vision. Um, and whatever that vision looks like to you, Make sure you create that vision. Um, your business starts uh, with conjuring up a vivid image of what you want to accomplish. So I encourage everybody to do a vision board. I have been doing a vision board for the past five to six years. I've been very successful with doing a vision board. And I don't only do a personal vision board for myself. I do a vision board for my business as well on what type of um, milestones that I want to hit with my business for the year. And that has been very, very helpful to me. Um, focus on your purpose purpose and your goals and your vision statement provides in inspiration and defines who you are. Um, so I do have a vision statement, um, but the vision board, like I said, I'm going to go back and reiterate because I feel like it's very, very um, imperative for you guys to have a vision board um, because if you can see it, you can believe it. And if you can believe it, you can achieve it. Um, I'm a visual. I have always been a visual learner since a little girl. And seeing it visually where I want to go is very, very helpful to me. I will never forget the, um, you know, the celebrity, celebrity Ellen. Um, she created a vision board when she wanted to do Finding um, Dory. Um, so she created a vision board for that movie and it came to pass so vision boards are very very um helpful a lot of successful people use it a lot of millionaires use it billionaires use it so i will recommend you guys setting um down spending time creating a vision board um so yeah um when you're creating your vision you want to it will help you to plan you need to plan ahead so your mission is about the present while your vision describes your future, um, think about where you want to be five to 10 years from now. Um, dare to dream big. Whenever I do my vision boards, though, you guys, I do them for the year. Because um, I know sometimes trying to do a big, big vision for five to 10 years, yeah, that's good. But sometimes in order to not get overwhelmed, we need to take it one step at a time, which can be like one year at a time, things of that nature. Um, two, you need to welcome feedback um invite other stakeholders or other people that you um look up to as far as mentors to give you some type of feedback on your um business um they can include customers that can include customers employees and other entrepreneurs so i'll be always open to feedback and then um study other examples um like i said research about vision boards, research what other people are doing in order to create their vision. Um, people that you might can help you with your particular business, I would say look for someone in that particular industry that you can look up to um, and how they are creating their visions and how they are implementing what they're doing to um, reach those goals. Um, make it relevant. Your vision takes on a real value when you apply it to your daily activities and business strategies. Integrate it into your decision making and culture. So like I said, you guys, I created a vision board. So I know y'all see this lovely background behind me, but I'm in my office. So in my office on my walls, I have my vision board so I can look at them every day. Also with my vision boards too, because like I do them um, electronically on the computer. I also save it to my phone. Um, so if I want to go back and actually look up that picture for my phone on my phone, I can do that as well when I'm out and about just to stay encouraged or just to, you know, yeah, pretty much stay encouraged um, to remind myself what I am working on or what I'm trying to achieve for the year. Um, the second one is to build your confidence. Um, no one is going to believe in you like you believe in you. Um, so you have to believe in yourself. You can boost your confidence by using um, these 
tips that I'm going to give you so you can review your accomplishments. Give yourself credit for your success. So always, even the small wins, celebrate the small wins. For me, um, y'all listening to this podcast, um, I get a wrap up every year about how I did for my podcast um, from Anchor or from Spotify. And I celebrate that. I post that because you know, I was, I would never, I never saw myself having a podcast. So I celebrate those small wins. Um, every effort counts. Um, if you want to put together a, portfo- a portfolio of your work that showcase your talents, do that. Um, also too, like I said, I'm in my office. So I not only on the one wall is my vision wall, but the other wall is where I hang my degrees. I hang my um, pictures of things that I feel like I accomplished. Um certifications i have a certain wall for that to remind me of how far that i came that so if you that's something to also to consider um seek support build yourself a community where you can collaborate and network people network with people that will um be willing to mentor you um be willing to um coach you on the things that you are still trying to learn and still trying to figure out um i know that can be hard but um it's very imperative that you do that. Um, I always pray and ask God for guidance when you're seeking mentors, mentorship, coaching, because you do want to have someone that really is interested in building you up and trying to help you achieve and get to where you need to be. Because I have re- I have been under mentorship with certain people um, who did not want to see me go further than them. So they try to hinder me a little bit, um, which didn't work, thankfully, but you want to actually like pray and seek guidance when it comes to mentorship. Um, and actually, you know, make sure that mentorship is going to actually work into your favor, works best for you. Cause we do have genuine people out there who do want to see you succeed in your business. So I highly encourage mentorship. Just make sure you're, you're praying and you're, um, being very aware and trying to figure out this person is a good fit for you as a mentor. Um, I always continue learning. Evaluate each experience to see what, what it taught you. Um, share your knowledge and your expertise with others and read books about entrepreneurship in, in your industry. Um, you can go back to school if you feel like it will help you with your industry or your, your business, or you can go online and get a certification. So it just basically depends on you and your needs, but I will highly recommend, like I said, you just make sure you always continue learning. There's always like webinars you can attend to, seminars that you can attend that will help you um, continue to learn, to continue to grow. When you stop learning, you stop growing. So you always want to continue to learn, um, continue to grow, because things around us is always evolving. Uh, reward yourself. Um, celebrate your victories. If you want to take your own self out to dinner, do that. Uh, pat yourself on the back. Give yourself a tangible treat. Like I said, <laughs> take yourself out to dinner. Do that. Um, take a day off. Buy concert tickets. Whatever you feel like is best for you. But make sure you reward yourself. Um, that I mean, I'm telling you that it really. I have not did did that for a long time. And when I started doing that, I started seeing how much more I was progressing because I took time to celebrate the small wins. I took time to treat myself. I took time out to just rest when I hit, when I hit certain milestones that I really wanted to reach. So just make sure you reward yourself. Um, you deserve it. Okay. Um, appear professional. Appearance matter. Stand tall and breathe deeply. Stay calm under pressure. Speak slowly and decisively. Style your hair and wear clothes that flatters your figure. Okay, I know right now this is a podcast. I'm on the, you know, y'all watching the video. I am on chill mode today. So I'm in a hat and in and, uh, <laughs> and a hoodie. So if you're going out presenting, please don't dress like this. I don't dress like this when I grow up. But right now, you know, I'm at home and I am not tr- out in the public. So I do wear stuff like this. And even sometimes I do be out like this in the public, but it's my downtime. So when I'm working and I'm out in the community doing things, I do look professional. So don't don't use how I'm looking on this video, <laughs> you guys, as an example, because it's not a good example. Um, the third and the last one we're going to talk about is persevering through obstacles. We are going to have obstacles, you guys. But the important thing about these obstacles is it, they, they come to teach us a lesson and they also come to... Um, Teach us a lesson, help us to grow. And they come so we can be an example to help others. Um, 
So in order for your business to thrive, you need to keep going in the face of setbacks and unexpected changes. Um, some studies have found that perseverance is even more important than talent. Okay. So keep these tips in mind when you're going through obstacles, setbacks, always think positive. Look on the bright side, wake up with a smile on your face, make a list of things that you are grateful for. Okay. I always tell myself or I always tell my clients or any pe other people that I mentor, daily affirmations is a is a must when you're finding yourself going through a phase of setbacks or you're going through a phase of trying to regroup um, or trying to get a hold of things. Daily affirmations, you guys, are very, very helpful. They have helped me a lot to stay positive. Um, manage stress. The earlier days of any business can be filled with financial pressure and self-doubts. Deal with tension constructively, exercise regularly, and talk about your feelings. Reflect with a warm bath or instru instrumental music. So whenever I get stressed, I do have, like I said, I have a, th well, I have a therapist. I have a mentor and I have a life coach. So if I need to talk out anything, I talk out whatever I need to talk out. Um, I do like to listen to um, like smooth jazz. Um, that kind of helps. I do have like an app, the Calm app on my phone to where I can listen to like nature and stuff like that. That helps me de-stress. Um, I do try to eat, eat healthy. Um, eating healthy helps with their stress levels as well. And I do um, try to like walk sometimes. If I can't walk, I'm doing like squats or little exercises sporadically throughout my day to help me de-stress that has helped me in a major way but I think what really helps with a lot of what us stressing is making sure that we eat right and making sure that we're getting enough sleep if you're not doing those two things then that can be very detrimental to your health um so you do want to make sure you're doing those things and then um therapy I believe in Jesus and therapy you need to talk it out. Um, when you harbor stuff in, that what causes the stress to increase and stress can lead to other sicknesses that, sicknesses and illness within our bodies that we do not want there. Um, so definitely you guys make sure you are taking care of yourself first, foremost, but do that, okay? And then three is maintain balance. Many small business owners work twice as long as regular employees. Um, you'll be happier and more productive if you pace yourself and pay attention to your personal life. So, um, yeah, um, that's definitely a good one. Uh, but how I maintain balance is I have a planner. Um, I use Asana, too, and I plan out my days to help me not to get overwhelmed. And then also, too, you guys, when you're managing, I went when you're trying to maintain a balance, set work certain work hours for yourself. So like if it's from nine to one, nine to two, set those work hours for yourself, set boundaries, set standards. Um, when it comes to your clients and your customers, they don't even need to call you outside of your work hours. Um, they don't need to come by your house outside of your work hours. I have heard that too, how people just want to come by and like, no, we're not doing that. Um, so just make sure you set boundaries because you do need that time to rest. You do need that time to reflect and that will help you maintain the balance that you need in order to be successful. Um, being an entrepreneur gives you the opportunity to work wherever you want to work and design a career that aligns with your values. Uh, regardless of how much money you make, you will gain valuable skills and enjoy the, satis the satisfaction of pursuing your dreams. So you guys, I hope this was helpful to you all about how you can get that entrepreneurship mindset. If any of you guys would like to reach out to me, if I can be any help to you, when it comes to developing a new mindset, I will be offering um, this year business coaching so feel free to contact me my number is 910-317-0396 you can shoot me an email at contact at mjfinancial.biz you can schedule a consultation with me on my website at www.mjfinancial.biz and you guys it was a pleasure trying to give you just a pleasure talking about these tips today and i will hope you i will hope to see you on the next episode of tips with tea